Hello, I'm glad I get the opportunity to talk a little bit about Franklin and Marshall College located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. FNM is a small liberal arts school founded in 1787 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We are a liberal arts school made up of only undergraduate students, which is great because everything I talk about today and everything that you will research about FNM are for you. FNM has roughly 2,400 students coming from 48 states and 44 countries. We are a very diverse community where about 17% of our students are international students. We have about 23% domestic students of color. About 20% of our students are Pell eligible. And about 20% of our students are first generation. So I sort of share with you the racial, socioeconomic, and geographical diversity because we feel that that really enhances our learning atmosphere because in an average class size of 17 students and a nine to one student to faculty ratio, you're able to engage and learn not only with each other, but your professors and gaining different insights to create a forward thinking mindset, which we feel really flourishes um, on campus and for liberal arts students. So how we do that, at FNM we set new standards of academic excellence, we personalize education, we stand with each other and we succeed together. And these are the four things I'm gonna quickly walk you through to sort of give you a taste of what um, is offered at Franklin and Marshall. The first one is we set new standards of academic excellence. FNM really thrives off of history. So I always share sort of a famous quote that one of our founders, Benjamin Franklin says, that ends and involve me and I learn. Not at FNM, you're going to be able to engage in the learning process. It's not just about learning in the classroom, but learning out in the field, in the lab, in the studio. And at FNM, um, you have a core curriculum because we wanna make sure that students have a well-rounded education. So every student has to take a humanities course, a social science, a non-Western, which is something outside of the US, um, two sciences, one being a lab science, an art course, three semesters of a language, and two connections courses, which are like your first year seminar. And those connections courses are very interdisciplinary and they range in different academic uh, disciplines that really allow you to expand your thought process and open your mind to sort of what's out there in our world. The first one is very writing focused because writing is a foundation for all academic um, majors. And then the other one is research focused because about 65% of our students conduct research on campus. So we wanna make sure that our students are prepared for research. And that sort of leads me into how we personalize education. At FNM, we have 59 major fields of study. Our most popular majors are economics, business, government, English, and any of the STEM field. Um, and at FNM, you don't declare your major until the spring semester of your sophomore year. Really giving you three semesters um, to explore and engage um, in different types of topics, test try some majors, um, and then declare your major. At FNM, you can major, you can double major, which is two full majors. You can do a joint major, which is about half of two majors. You can add a minor to any of those. And then we have a special studies major where you can combine three academic areas into one to create your own major. So you really do have academic freedom in terms of you know, what you decide to study. And of course, you'll have an advisor who will work with you um, at FNM. Studying abroad or studying off campus is a big deal on our campus. We're about 55% of our students study off campus. We have over 200 programs in 60 countries um, and you can go abroad whenever you choose, which is really nice. Again, the academic freedom um, in your four year experience. Every student will have an advisor who will work with them um, and it's just the possibilities are endless. And then the arts, what I really appreciate about the arts at FNM, it is as academic or as extracurricular as you want it to be. So students um, can be in the orchestra. We have two orchestras, two choirs, two bands, a jazz band, a jazz ensemble. We have two student run theater groups. We have visual arts, um, studio arts, home media studies. Um, and a fun fact is that about 90% of our students involved in any of our music ensembles are not music majors. But it's truly about just continuing your passions and what you're interested in. And then athletics. At FNM, we're a Division III in the NCAA, the Centennial Conference. We have 27 varsity sports on our campus that students can choose from. If you aren't interested in playing on the varsity level, we do have club and intramural sports 
that students um, are really engaged and involved in as well. And if you're thinking about that recruitment process, reaching out to the coach is the best advice I can give to you and all that information is on our website. And then standing with each other. I think our community is a really big deal. I'm at FNM and one of the reasons why I chose FNM as Franklin and Marshall is my alma mater. I mean, at FNM, the community is really um, in inclusive in that, you know, our students are coming from all over, um, but you know, you're living with people who are different from you. You're in classes with people who are different from you. I mean, first and foremost, you're a diplomat, which I think it's really um, special. So it's not about your first year or a senior, everyone is really um, coexisting on our campus. And how we promote community is through our college house. Um, so there are five college houses on our campus. Res, uh, living sort of residential life is for all four years, guaranteed. Um, students have to live on campus for the first two years. Then you have the option of living in college approved off campus housing for the last two years. But again, housing is guaranteed for all four years. And these college houses really bridge the academic and the social life on our campus. Academically, because you get placed into your college house based on your connections course which is that first year seminar that I um, explained. And then the, the other half, sort of the learning part, I mean, the fun part is that every college house is student run and governed. So they have their own form of government that students can serve on and put on different programming from bagel breakfast to Sunday night, Sundays, hot chocolate hangouts. Just anything with food, as you can see in the picture, gets students excited. And then we have over 110 clubs and organizations on our campus, ranging from multicultural clubs, religious affiliated clubs, club and intramural sports, Greek life. Um, again, and on average, our students are involved in three to five extracurricular activities on top of their academics. So our students are definitely involved and engaged leaders on campus. We wanna make sure that our students are growing you know, on the personal level um, and getting involved in your college house and those organizations is a way for students to do that. And then Lancaster. So Lancaster is a cool, um, hip place. Downtown is a 15 minute walk from campus. So students go to the coffee shops, um, to any of the restaurants, the mom and pop shops, Central Market, which is a huge um, tourist attraction, which is the largest continuously running farmer's market and indoor farmer's market in the world. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of exploring to do within the larger community of Lancaster. Um, that our students really enjoy. Because at FNM, you're not just a part of FNM, you're part of the Lancaster community. As well as community service, our students are volunteering downtown, at a school, at a nonprofit. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities to get involved. And then we succeed together. I always say that FNM is not just for four years, it's for life. And how we do that is through our Office of Student and Postgraduate Development, which is a mouthful, and our students have shortened that to OSPAGAD. And OSPAGAD is a career and professional development office on our campus. Every student has an advisor who will work with you throughout the four years um, to help you with, you know, your resume, helping you apply for jobs, helping you find internships. It's really the place um, where you can sort of grow into a career. We also have pre-profession advising. So for, you know, pre-health, pre-law, STEM advising, it's really sort of this is your hub to help and prepare you. Our alumni directory lives in this office, so if you want an alumni mentor, you can go to OSPAGAD. We really want to make sure that our students are prepared for that life after, after gaining a liberal arts education. Um, so in terms of funding this education, so at financial aid at FNM, we're a need-based school. We plan to meet 100% of institutional demonstrated need for all four years. We run on the FAFSA and the CSS profile. Um, and every student is a financial aid advisor who will work with you um, throughout the process. We also have the net price calculator on our website, um, which will be very helpful for you to see how much it will cost for you to attend FNM. If you have any further questions about financial aid, feel free to reach out to me or to our financial aid office. And then applying. So at FNM, we're on the Common Application and the Coalition app. We don't have any supplemental essays, it's just the application. We take the SAT and the ACT, we super score both of those exams, but we're also test optional. So if you feel that your scores are not a reflection of your academics, we do not require the testing at all. Interviews are recommended, but they aren't required for admission, but feel free to reach out if you're interested in an interview, visit our website and you can schedule a virtual one on, our, on there. Um, we are a holistic review process. So what that means is that we take everything into account. We look at students' academics, making sure you're taking a rigorous curriculum based on what your school has to offer and being successful in that. And then I call it a personal rigor. So being involved inside of school, outside of school, 
in your um, communities, really just merging that together, make an ideal candidate for our pool. Our regular decision deadline is January 15th. Students will find out in mid-March of that decision. Um, but if you think that FNM could be the place for you 110%, we do encourage early decision. We have two rounds of that, November 15th and January 15th. These are binding commitments, so please only apply early decision if you definitely think that FNM is the place for you. Because if you get admitted through round one or round two, um, you are committed to be a diplomat for life, which is great. And then there's a true 30-day turnaround. Um, if money is concerned with thinking about early decision, we do have a great option called the Early Financial Aid Estimate, um, which means that you can submit all your financial aid documents early, and then you'll get a package um, back um, before you have to commit and sign on the dotted line on the agreement form. So you can request that through our website as well. And also connect with us, connect with me, reach out. If you have any questions at all about Franklin and Marshall College, I'm here to answer them um, throughout this process. And thank you for listening.